Hey, you ever been out there and feel like you're up a creek without a paddle? There's a good reason you ought to do that. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. For those of you who are regulars to this channel, we are obviously not Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right. not. No. Uh, those of you that don't realize who we are, I'm Jordan. And I'm Jamie Houston. Okay, yes. Son, granddaughter, filling in. I don't really know why. Well, I talked to Dad earlier this week, and uh, when he answered... I didn't know it was him. He sounded really bad. He had laryngitis or something along those facts. So he said, can you do a couple ketchup at your life? Okay, so that's why. That, that, that's why we're so, here. So yes. and on that, uh, say a prayer, lift him up so his voice comes back because I know y'all enjoy hearing him much more than you will are. But we're gonna, <laughs> we've got big shoes to fill. We're going to try and yeah. do it though. So if you are not, make sure that you subscribe to the Catch a Better Life YouTube channel. Um, he's also got some other YouTube channels as well. Probably that you guys some can, buttons or something yeah, here that will pop up. That yeah. you can subscribe to. I also always have to make a shameless plug to subscribe to Next Gen Summer Camps. That is my YouTube channel. So go check that out. Um, posting devotionals and stuff and have some cool stuff planned for Christmas. So make sure that you check that out. So, Dad, what does November 14th bring us today? November 14th, our verse comes from 1 Corinthians 12, 7. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. There are all kinds of lures, and all are made to catch fish. Well, they're made to catch fishermen first because the fish don't have any money. Fish can't walk into a tackle store anyway. But each lure category has an available variety to make them work well under many different conditions. Take a crankbait, for example. They're made to fish at many depths for many reasons. Square bills are for fishing through brush. The crankbaits come in big sizes, mediums, and even little bitty ones. You can find every color under the sun and even some colors that are just made up. Some that are really noisy and some that are really quiet. So isn't that something like what the manifestation of the Spirit does for us believers? It manifests different gifts to each of us. Some are given, given wisdom by the Spirit, some are given knowledge, others more faith. The Spirit gives people powers to heal, words to prophesy, uh, the power to give service, all of that sort of stuff. It says none of us get all these gifts by the Spirit, but we all benefit from these gifts. Which gifts do you have? I think about this a lot, um, especially being a school teacher. I see kids that have... You know, some are really good leaders and other ones are, you know, they'll do whatever a leader says to do. Um, both of those things are important. I mean, if everybody was a leader, nothing would get accomplished very well, right, I don't right, think, because right. then you wouldn't have people that would be willing to submit to those leaders and follow what they do. Right. So, I mean, the Spirit gives each of us different gifts, but, you know, whatever He looked and created the world in order for the world to go around we each needed to have different gifts i agree and you know there's been times in my life you know boy i wish i had that ability to be a great preacher ability to the, the gift to do this the gift to do that but like you said uh we he has given us all gifts and i i think that one of my great gifts uh, is, is is service i like to do things to help people out I don't know, you know, and I think at different aspects of our lives, maybe our gifts change too. Yes. And uh, where, you know, that, uh, can I say, you know, a young Christian is learning to walk just like a babe does. And I think a lot of times our gifts may be that way too. You know, God gives us those abilities, what we can do and uh, to, to further his kingdom and to help serve others. So, yeah. So, Dad, what's our tip? For our today? tip today, I mentioned being up a creek without a paddle. Uh, the tip today, go as far up in creeks and pockets as you can in both early spring and late fall. And for whatever reason, I've seen it, uh, you know, you fish up a little cove, and I've always, I guess probably Dad's taught me this, but just so far as you can up there where you can't get the boat. And a lot of times in just inches of water will be a big old bass or maybe even a crappie up there laying, and you can catch it. Now, 
If you know me very well, uh, I, I used to bow fish a whole lot, and we'd be out there in the hot summertime, I mean days when, you know, maybe like 95 at night, be 105 during the day, and working way up creeks looking for a big old carp to shoot, and there'd be four or five pound bass just swimming around in just inches of water. And uh, that's one thing that, you know, that, that convinced me, hey, you need to throw up there, because you never know, you know, we have in our mindset when it's hot, those fish go deep. and. Uh, a lot of the stuff with the new sonar devices, uh, uh, the Garmin Live Scopes, that uh, even Dad's told me he's learned things about fish with those that he was wrong all his life. And for him to tell me he's wrong about <laughs> something, that, that's hard because us dads don't yeah, like doing yeah. that. So, yeah, you get up to a creek, don't just, you know, skirt the end there, make a few chunks up in there. A lot of times there's logs laying down in there, whatever. You never know what uh, big old bass might be laying up there looking for that crankbait. That little bitty one going in real shallow water. Hey, y'all go out and have a great day today. We'll see you later.